I'm sure by now every single person watching this video has started a career mode with a team in a big league with big talent but not many people actually try the mid-level teams in the bigger leagues. In this video, I'll share some of my favorite reasons to play as Bayer Leverkusen in FIFA 21. So Leverkusen were actually known as the Nearly Men. Between 1997 and 2002, they were Bundesliga runners-up four times. Most notably in 2002, the club was leading with five points with just three games to go, before they lost two of the last three and their rival Borussia Dortmund swept in with three wins in a row to win the league. The same year they also finished runners up in the UEFA Champions League. So you can really see why Leverkusen do have a reputation of being a very unlucky team. To this day Leverkusen have never won the Bundesliga but this could easily change if you take over on FIFA 22. I've got a couple of reasons why, but the main reason you need to take over this team is the insane amount of potential in the squad. Within just a few years, even if you sign literally no players, you can easily have a team of players who are all over 85 rated. Frimpong, Kosuanu, Tapsoba and Baka in defence all reach the mid 80s. In midfield, Palacios, Amiri and Paulinho all also reach a very similar level. The real standouts however, of course, Florian Wirtz and Musa Diaby. Diaby is more suited to FIFA with insane agility, insane pace, and really good dribbling. But Wurtz has got the higher ceiling with better ball control, better passing, and he really is the next playmaker for Germany. Both of these, as well as Tapsoba, will be around 90 rated when they peak, which will all be at the same time because they're all between 18 and 22 years old. So I expect them all to peak after four or five seasons. This will probably be the sort of time you're in the Champions League, getting far into that competition. You'll have some of your youth academy players coming through as well, so you will have an absolutely insane team if you can keep all of them together. This golden generation would put them on par with teams that you will be facing late into the Champions League. Teams like Bayern Munich, Juventus, Madrid, these teams have squads that most of the players are between the mid 80s and the low 90s, and that's exactly where Leverkusen's squad can end up. Signing a young goalkeeper could be a good option because the best goalkeeper at the minute is 31 and doesn't have potential to get any better. They also don't have a high potential goalkeeper in the squad, so maybe go out and sign a high potential goalkeeper. Van der Voort is the obvious option playing for Genk who are a much smaller team than Leverkusen and you could probably get him for around £10 million. You've also got players like Bilyao from Feyenoord who's got a decent potential as well, although he will cost you quite a bit more. The chances are, however, you will get a youth academy goalkeeper with really good potential because it seems like that's the most common kind of player you get in your scouting reports this year. Signing a high potential defence midfielder could be another good option. Going for someone like Aaron Barry from Getafe or Lissandro Martinez from Ajax would give you another good option in midfield because both of these can also play a bit further forwards. Martinez can also play at centre-back, so overall both would be really decent signings. Strengthening in an already high potential squad would definitely give you a team fit to win multiple Champions Leagues over the span of your FIFA 22 career mode. But that's not the only reason to choose Leverkusen. Of course, as most teams in the Bundesliga do, they have a real stadium. They also have pretty nice kits in my opinion. The good young squad is obviously a really good reason to take over them. And the Bundesliga is fully licensed. So you'll get the right scoreboards, you'll get the right advert boards, you'll get commentary phrases if you're playing in German that will be unique to the league. So it really is the whole package. Can you finally get Leverkusen to take the team to Bundesliga glory? Well, let's have a quick look through their team and see what kind of style they play and who they have in their team to start off with. You probably know Patrick Schick from the Euros if you watched any of it. He was one of the standout players for the Czech Republic and he starts up front. Diaby and Wurz are two of the three behind him, with FIFA favourite Karim Bellarabi declining in recent years but still being a rapid right winger with 85 pace despite being 31 years old. Demiri Bai and Aranguez play in defensive midfield. Both of these are also getting on quite a bit. Duran Bai is 27 years old and Aranguez is 32. So you're probably going to want to start playing Nadim Amiri or Ezekiel Palacios at centre mid pretty soon into your save. Back is the weak link at the back, 74 overall, but he does, as I said before, have potential to get to the mid 80s if you get him dynamically up there. He recently got plus 7 sprint speed, giving him up to 85, so that's going to be really useful at the back. The other fullback doesn't need any more pace because Jeremy Fringpong already has 92. 
This is really good for a fullback, but with Frimpong, you really do need to be mindful of the release clause, which is at just £15 million. Jonathan Tarr and Kosuanu play at centre back, and Kosuanu is actually your lowest rated player in your starting 11 at just 73 overall. However, he is 20 years old with mid 80s potential, as I mentioned earlier, and you do have Tap Soba who can come in at 81 overall, who would be one of your best players. In goal, Lucas Hadreki is going to be a good option, but he's 31 as I mentioned before and doesn't have the potential to improve. The Finnish goalkeeper has really good stats for everything except for kicking, so if you're playing out from the back or playing a style of football like that, definitely need to look at your goalkeeper. Luckily for Leverkusen, they don't actually play very much possession. They play a really wide counter-attacking formation with forward runs happening to push players forward into attacking areas. But if they do lose the ball, they can be pretty vulnerable to a counter-attack. Once Leverkusen have lost the ball, they do like to press for a couple of seconds after they've lost it. So this makes them play a similar kind of football to Gegenpress, which you might know from Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp, who kind of invented it in Germany. They have a transfer budget of £34 million, which is more than good enough to strengthen with one or two of these players that I previously mentioned. And with an average age of just 24, almost every single player in the team has potential to get pretty decent. Even some of the players out on loan, like Ayman Adzil and Lennart Grill, have potential to be decent for Bundesliga level, with potential in the high 70s. Hopefully you agree with the statement that Leverkusen are probably one of the most fun teams in the Bundesliga to try and develop. They start off with the fifth best squad, but potential to become at least the second best after Bayern Munich. They also have a decent transfer budget, good stadium, good kits, and really good potential players. If you do decide to do this save, please do let me know by either messaging me on Twitter, Discord, or in the comments below, because I'd love to hear who you pick for your team. When I did the save myself, I picked up Kai Havertz to re-sign him from Chelsea when he wasn't performing very well, and his potential as well was super high. He went over on the right wing, he was really good and he developed at the same kind of speed as Wurz and Diaby, although he was a little bit ahead of course because his overall starts around 85. Havertz isn't the only former player with really good potential that you can re-sign. You've got people like Liam Bailey who plays for Aston Villa at the moment, Julian Brandt who plays for Borussia Dortmund, also high potential, Emre Chan, Hakan Kalinoglu who was really liked when he played for Leverkusen. Milik would be a decent option up front, and even Danny Carvajal, who used to play for them a long, long time ago. You've also had people like Hunmin Son, of course, so if you really want to re-sign him, go ahead and try and bring him back to Leverkusen. It just shows the amount of talent that comes through this club, and if they can keep hold of it for once, I really do think they have the chance to challenge. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. If you do decide to use Leverkusen, please let me know either by commenting or messaging me on Discord or Twitter. And I'll see you very soon for the next video, hopefully very shortly. If you've got any ideas for other underrated teams that people probably don't use, please do let me know in the comments as well because I'm always on the lookout for new video ideas. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers.